We got a one giant big cardboard box right here. Woo! Also, I'm wearing the Sakai Low Blazers. They have double tongs, double laces. It's my first pair of Sakai's so far. <gasps> Look what I got. Oh boy. nice the white stitching this looks like for the back seat you can see it has like honeycomb stitching and the stitching's white to match the car and then that looks like the back of the rear seat which is very similar then this is the passenger seat cover even with a pocket so you don't miss out on the storage space. And the headrest covers. Cute. So I got these from a company called Custom Interior with a K for custom. And they do make seat covers for the fifth gen and sixth gen Camaro, depending on what Camaro you guys have, along with a lot of other cars. And they do make these seat covers specifically for your car. So no, these are not universal seat covers, meaning that they will have almost a perfect fitment on the seats. And so basically they're known for not having like weird wrinkles and it won't look like a cloth is just draped over your seats in your car. It actually looks really, really nice. Um, people get this purely for the looks even. And they're super, super light because it does have like this foam in the stuff will sit there for however long the seat covers on, which is probably gonna be over the over a year. That's just ugh, ugh, gross. So just clean it, take the extra time. It takes like 10 minutes to wipe it down. But to make our lives easier and to properly install these seat covers, you do have to tuck them properly because if you get into an accident or whatever, you don't want the seat covers flying off with you in the seat covers instead of the seat. So you do want to make sure to install these properly. This install shouldn't honestly take more than an hour. Maybe it might take me longer because I'm filming. <laughs> but to take out the seats, it's really, really simple. I'm on the passenger side of my Camaro right now. And I have a T50 and it looks like this. It's a little star. Uh, this is the only tool you need to take off the seat. And, uh, oh, and a flathead to unhook the electronics. But the, it's only connected by two bolts on both sides, so it's relatively easy and simple. And the back seats are even easier. You don't even need any tools. Make sure to move the seat all the way forward. And the bolts are right here. And before you take one side completely out, make sure to loosen the other side as well. Otherwise, it'll make the other side like way more difficult to undo. So guys, I work a million times faster when I'm not holding the camera. And yes, these bolts do feel like they are uh, 20 inches long. Hey, here's the other nipple to my radar detector that I've been looking for. I should be able to get underneath there. And boom, the entire thing's undone. Hey, another eyelash brush. And now the seat should completely come out. By the way, this thing is very, very heavy. And that is a beautiful seat. And hopefully when you guys pull out your seat, hopefully underneath your seat's that clean. And hopefully it still has carpet lines like my car does because that's how crazy I am about detailing. <laughs> this piece right here, if you're wondering where I put my flathead screwdriver, this will be sitting in, inside underneath the seat like this. And you'll see 
this piece, it'll be connected with another piece that goes into here. And you just have to shove in your flathead into that little hole in there. And then this whole thing will just slide sideways outwards. And then you'll be able to unhook the piece out way, outwards this way once this piece is pulled sideways. So it's just the two bolts and the little pop of the flathead and boom, your entire seat is out. Now let's grab these seat covers. All right, I think the best method is to start with the bottom and work our way up. So, gives on like that. We have to watch where these straps go. Oh my gosh, this is a million times easier with the seat out. I like looked at it for a second when the seat was still in and it didn't make any sense. And this, I can already see what's going on. We have these, we have these straps, which I assume, ah! <laughs> that's ugly. So these first straps here where my finger is, follow it. I clipped it to the metal piece right there and then same thing with this side and that metal piece right in there. Um, that's like a good place to where it's snug enough. I don't really know where else I would hook it up because I don't want to put it on the seat heater things and make it get hot and that plastic thing wasn't very reliable. So that's the best option for that. Now we have these side pieces which I don't want to tuck it on the side like that because that doesn't look good. So we're going to put it, tuck it, and shove it in there. Make it go through. And hopefully one day I'll be able to find it on the other side. Guys, my nails are so long. It makes everything so difficult to work on. In there. Boom! Now I got it to come through so it's not blocking that. I connected them in the center and it's perfect. This side I'm not as worried about because there's nowhere to really hide it necessarily. And I could tuck these like in the rail and everything but that's not gonna really touch anywhere. Um, and if it does, it's fine because it'll hold it better. And that's the bottom. We have these back pieces that look like that. And I'm just gonna shove them through since this top part and this bottom part are two separate sections. It's not all just one seat. There's a hole that goes through there. So you can shove these right through there so we can work on them on the flip side. I just pull them all the way through and then lay them flat so they can't retract back into the seat. I think that makes sense for where they're at. That is the bottom portion of the seat. That looks really clean. Now, the mid section. Now this looks like it fits like a dress. Do I have to take the headrest off? Yes, I do. Oh shoot, I don't even know if the headrest could come off. Oh, they do come off. What? Okay guys, to so take the headrest off, I always thought there was only one clip here but there is another hidden one here. Press them both at the same time and the headrest will slide out. Like magic. Slides over like a nice dress. Eh. Close its height fit. Eh. Don't forget your little seat buckle loop. I have to go fishing for it through the seat cover. Oh my God. Why does it magnet now? And then it doesn't magnet like any other time when I want it to, to hold a seat belt. That camera is salty. It's like, why are you changing me if I'm already perfect? And boom, that's on the outside. Make sure those holes are lined up. And this is the same thing basically these are gonna feed through the back edge definitely do these front pieces first because if you do this 
piece all the way underneath. You won't be able to reach these. I don't know why it took me 10 years to get the seat back in. I just like couldn't get it lined up on like the seat rail, but it's in and I just have to put in the two bolts that look like this for the seat in the back. I already connected like the airbag sensor and the heater, the electronic part of the seat, so that's good to go. I'll just these boys. Now you can totally see the difference. Whew. I don't know why that became so difficult for me to put in the seat. I don't know if it's because it's heavy or what, but worth it. I mean, look at that. It looks really nice versus the stock side over there. Now I can bust through the driver's side way faster because I know what I'm doing, but let me show you guys how to install the rear since the passenger seat will be the exact same thing as the driver's seat. Okay, we are now in the back seat of the Camaro. Um, for this, I don't think I'm gonna remove the bottom because I will be able to pop it open and shove in the clips. But for the top, there is this little lever right here that you pull. The whole thing comes down to easily put the cover on. Okay, this is kind of difficult to show because it's so dark on the inside of this vehicle. But we're gonna get the top piece on which should be relatively simple. There's not much going on with the install, to be honest. Talk about first mod. It does have Velcro, so it'll stick for sure. It has this Velcro, Velcro strap on the back. I'm just gonna strap that down on the back of the seat so it sticks. And on the side, it has Velcro as well. All right, and it's literally that easy. I just took the Velcro and slapped it on the back of the seat since the back of the seat is like the other side of the Velcro. You don't have to do any, put any other parts on it. And boom. And then these little flap things that you see flashing right here, you kind of just shove those through. They hold against the back of the seat, so you do have to shove them pretty far to be able to hold down. I just shove them like all the way back and then kind of turn them upwards. The bottom piece of these seats, if you pull on each side of the corner and pop it up, the whole seat will pop up. And so you can work with it. Woo! You shove them on back there. Look how pretty these seat covers look though, honestly. Now, one of these boys, I gotta shove it in the back. It's gonna be hard to shove, I'm gonna shove my hand in there and we're gonna loop it around the seat. But man, GM was not kind with the space in the back seat. <laughs> oh, I forgot to pop in the seat. <laughs> Sit on the seat to pop them back in. Woo. Oh my goodness. Guys, look how good that looks. Whew. And all the way to the back seat set, all matches now. Now I need to get that shift knob in that pattern as well. Well, that's how easy that install is for the seats. These have great quality. They feel really good. Let's go take it for a drive and let's get Mocha, my little puppers, in the car since now she won't scratch up my seats and I will be a happy girl. You know, it makes me a little anxious sometimes when she scratches my car. Mocha's like, um, what are you doing? Why are you leaving me alone? <laughs> Look how well these seat covers match, though. And the car is all clean. Oh, that thing's sick. That's what it's like to be in Arizona. <laughs> Mocha's getting all up in them. What are you doing? Trying to escape, Miss Girl? Yeah, this thing's so hard. Well, we got 12 gallons in so far. Already at 80, almost at $80. Everyone's a riot here in Arizona. Thank you! <laughs> no, it's all NA. I know. I'm working on it. It's cammed and everything, though. right? Yep. Yep. Manual. Exactly. <laughs> so many people love the Camaro. Mocha, everyone's coming up to us. We're so popular. Let's go get a drink. By drink, I mean lemonade. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Ready, 
Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Starbucks. Thank you so much. <laughs> you too. Alright, Miss Smoke. Okay, get, get it on the cover, not on anything else. Now she's a happy girl because now she can get the seat all dirty and I won't freak out. Oh my goodness. Mocha. Oh look at her. How easy is that seat cover to clean? Oh that's so funny. Well this is the real test. Clean her up Moke. <laughs> DC covers. Sorry, I probably said the same thing a million times over again, but me and Mocha love them. I, it's like the first interior mod I've ever done, so I mean, this is new to me, and it's weird to see like the inside difference. This is like, this is my home base. It's like my protective zone in here, so it's like, it's funny to change it up, you know? It's just... It's not the same, but I really love it. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll have the links in the description down below. So if you guys are interested in these seat covers as well, you can go check them out and get them through that link and whatnot. Um, fun fact, I'm actually sweating a lot less in these seats. Usually my thighs, since I'm in shorts or whatever, usually I like sweating like way faster. Um, I don't know what that means scientifically for the material of the product but I love it <laughs> it's very nice and um, Mocha you know is making this seat cover all hers oh my gosh I mean talk about a full detail for nothing um, anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one